All right, so here we are at the end of our little mini course. So what have we talked about? What have we learned? Just to kind of bring it all to a conclusion here. So we've talked a lot about scoping and scoping is really about getting comfortable organizing a project, breaking it into pieces. It's very easy when you're early in freelancing to get distracted by all the technical specifics of projects. What, what technologies do you have to choose? What are the relationships with the clients? How am I gonna get paid? How much time is this going to take? How am I going to make all this work together and, and, and put it all together in a way that is updatable? It's so easy for that to get overwhelming. And the core thing is that we're trying to break it into pieces. And in this mini course, I've tried to provide some structures for how you can break it into pieces that I've found to be useful over time. The core of that is phases and then chunks when it comes to organizing things, chunks of, of scoped areas. So the phased approach is really crucial to that first talking to a client and organizing a project in your head in terms of budgets and timelines. What's the first piece? What's this research or early bit of work we're going to do? What's the central chunk of all the main work that we're going to have to get done? And what are some of the finishing touches and polishing that we're going to have to do? Breaking things into those right off the bat helps you divide a big project up into pieces that you can quickly talk about with a client. Then after you've got a job or after the client's ready to give you more, you need to break it not into pieces of one, two, and three, but the different moving parts of the machine that you're going to build. And the different moving parts that I think are helpful to think about do break into this idea of front end and back end, but really are about data administrative management of the site and about user experience or what we would typically call front end and breaking these into these pieces and seeing what's my data what's what's the longevity of the site and how is it going to be run and what's it going to look like and how is it going to function for users really helps me to organize the different pieces i need from the client when i'm building phase one two and three and ultimately that helps me think about architecture which is the most abstract of the ideas that I've talked about and most difficult for a junior developer without the adequate experience. Maybe it's a good subject for another whole course, but it would be much more specific to your a particular technical area. So I might do a course on architecting a Node.js project, but it wouldn't necessarily apply if you're building actual machines or something like that. The idea of connecting the data to the front end is really at the heart of how you're gonna build this machine and organize it for yourself when it comes to scoping it. So ultimately, the, important, the point here has been to give you some tools to work with so you can be a bit more confident when you are working with clients, so you can feel a little more sure of yourself when you're approaching a project that you haven't missed anything big, and really so you can just have more fun developing and it's not a big stressful slog where it's hard to keep the client organized and you keep getting distracted and it feels like things never are really ending. By staying organized, that's your best method to get a project done uh, where it's enjoyable, profitable, and leads you to want to get more with the same client or with new ones. So hopefully this has been useful to you. Subscribe or like if you want and feel free to give me suggestions for other videos or anywhere that was unclear or other tutorials on similar subjects. Happy to make those, and we'll see you next time. Wish you all the success.